All right, Hellstrom Ranch, let's go. Welcome back to West of Loathing. The El Vibrato transponder bleeps at you and you dutifully follow the signal. Jeez, who's in charge here? It, le uh, it leads you to a hulking robot stomping around in the desert sand, so the answer is basically not you. Alrighty. Oh. Whoa, oh, he got a surprise attack again and he's real strong. Uh, I can't quite kill him, so we will use one dynamite. And then a fan hammer. I wonder if the enemies have leveled up to match how much stronger I am. Gained 43 XP, got some scraps, and a keystone. Alright. Whoa! Shit's all burned down here. They must have had a real bummer of a party. Dig through the haystack, get a neater. Needle. Uh. Ringing this will attract the attention of at least one infernal cow. It's a portal to hell. You hear ominous mooing. I sure do. The only part of the shed that didn't burn was the part of this this horseshoe was attached to. Guess it really is good luck. Grab it. Yes. I'll take that. What's it do for me? Uh, can I search for it? I don't see it here. Am I blind? The answer is kind of... Lucky horseshoe. Plus six pistol attack damage goes in the offhand. Heck yeah, I don't think the souvenir spoon was doing much for us, was it? Nah, plus three moxie? Eh, maybe. I'll take the pistol attack damage, though. We're running into some hard enemies now. Let's fight a cow! It also got a surprise round and one-shot Gary. Okay, we are... 92... We are outmatched. Shoot that thing. Oh god, it still gets an attack. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Infernal Soul Fragment. Well, I can't afford to keep wasting dynamite on high-level enemies right now. Um, I need to level up Gary. Gary! Gary needs to level up! Don't really have the stuff to do that, though. Um. More HP is probably good. And let's say more Moxie couldn't hurt, I guess. I can no longer... You got Moxie, kid, and this is how much of it. Moxie affects sound. Okay. I don't think I can take any more Moxie now. Uh, where to? Next up, Breadwood. You encounter a goblin chef out harvesting produce, by which I mean knocking off lumps of cactus. It gives you a real side eye, then it sees you. Hey, hey, you human, to keeping away from these lumps that are mine, mine, or maybe I am cooking you instead. What? You, you goblins don't, you goblins don't people to eating, do you? Ha, <laughs> no, gross. I, I did saying that to scare you away. Did, did you scared? Yeah, geez, a little bit, man. Nice. Talk to it. So, uh, what's cooking? Lumps. Leave the goblin be. I gotta start letting Gary handle things, because I don't have... What the hell? You know, the town's gone to pot when the horses are drunk. Gary's got something to say. Oh, hey, another uh, another goblin telling Gary about a place near here. What kind of place? Very weird place, all seeing through it. You discovered a town, Ghostwood. What? Oh, wait. Uh, is there anything else I'm supposed to be doing? You got enough scrap for the professor to do whatever he wanted to do now. The old mission above submission catacombs still needs help retrieving artifacts. Okay. Redwood Mayor, Redwood Post Office. Howdy, Mayor. I'm Jim West. I'm here on behalf of the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. We need to build a bridge in a hurry, so I'm here to cut you a deal. Cut a deal with you for the lumber. All right. I believe we can scrape together that much wood. What sort of down payment you offering? Oh, uh, I sort of expected you would just bill us. You want that lunch lumber with no payment up front? Are you serious? I can probably offer you a few free train rides. 
I do enjoy a nice train ride, but that deal would be a real problem, and I've already got seven problems to worry about. Oh? Offered help with his problems. Oh, thank you. I'd certainly uh, welcome any assistance you can offer. Uh, the missing mail, the overdue book, the lodging permit, the soup shortage, skeleton raids, the stolen yeast, and the missing bread. Skeleton raids? Yeah, there's a military cemetery not far from here. I figure something must have happened to the caretaker because military skeletons keep wandering out this way and causing a ruckus. And I'm old and I don't like ruckuses. Ruckus I? Ruckusopodes. That's the plural. Just like an octopod. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the military cemetery. Deal with that for them. Hello, I'd like to go up. Do I gotta use arrow keys for that? Military cemetery, let's go. Alexandria Ranch. Okay, uh, keep heading to the cemetery. We'll deal with the ranch later. Burrier plots. Eternal flame. Uh, shovel. Caretaker shanty. You poke around in the shed, the caretaker appears to have been shirking his duties for quite a while, judging by the dust and cobwebs. Looks like the mayor was right about him having wandered off. Guess you're going to have to fetch him back here to do his job. Look at the tools. There's a shovel, but I don't need another shovel. Uh, look under the chair. The chair's owned by one guy. Like all chairs owned by one guy, it has years worth of lint and food crumbs underneath it. Gross. Scope out the desk. It's covered with old paint spattered newspapers and features of large collections of tiny jars of paint as, as well as fine tipped brushes, a can of thinner, and a stack of history books. Weird. Check out the flyers on the wall. Military Reenactment Enthusiast Society. Apparently they meet regularly at Fort Memoriam. Okay, maybe that's where the caretaker went. Beyond this gate stand countless rows and columns of tombstones. Well, they're not actually countless. I've counted them and there are 999. You can visit an individual plot by number if you'd like. Uh, 65. Second Lieutenant Bertram Bradshaw, 69th Innuendo Division. A soldier buried here is making a lot of noise. Dig it up. Jesus, he did a lot of damage. And dealing three total damage. He takes nothing. He takes no damage from any of my stuff. I am going to have to burn a lot of dynamite on this boy. What kind of kill would this even grant me? Or what kind of items? You know what? I think it's worth the dynamite. I don't know what I'll get out of this. I know that he's dangerous as heck, though. Alright, this is fine. 73 EXP Skeleton Bones Rifleman's Helmet, plus 5 a pistol attack damage. Now all you need is a helmet man's rifle to protect your head and you'll be all set. Wait, Rifleman's Helmet. This helmet doesn't protect your head very well, but it makes you a much better shot. Now all you need is a Okay. Alright, uh, let's not visit any more burial plots. Actually, let's check out number 1. Dig it up. You hear rattling. Wow, they also wrecked me. I might actually be able to kill this one though. I'm gonna heal myself. I'm gonna fan hammer it. I'm gonna. Oh god, Gary Fu doesn't do much damage, huh? Uh, let's lower his stats then with Gary. Ow. Oh, I can no longer fan hammer though. All right, we'll we'll uh, oh man, we'll use a snake liver, then we'll shoot him, and then we'll Gary foo him for a little bit of damage, and then. I'll use a medicine box. Or two. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw a snake spleen. 
Alright, no more enemies after this. Jeez, man. I need to be able to survive this hit, so I'll take another spleen. And then I'll shoot. And I'll hope that I live. Alright, Gary, get in there. No, you needed to kill him, Gary. Okay. Boy, I will make it out of there just barely alive. And not get much for it. Alright, we're done in this madness. Where am I headed? Uh, Fort Memoriam. Let's go. I think I leveled my self up too high. Uh, you see what you take to be an oasis in the boiling heat of this region, and spurs act towards it. As you near it, you discover that you've been fooled. It wasn't an oasis at all, but an evil-looking black stone cow monolith. Anyone can make that mistake, really. Attack it, I suppose. Alright. Fan hammer that thing. Ungolith horn, infernal soul fragment. Gary, what's up? Oh, a place for going! Gary is thinking of one! What's that? A cactus! Biggest cactus ever seeing with goblins inside! You discovered old granddad. Well, that does sound interesting and or weird. It doesn't it, though. What do you think we should do next? Breadwood's man troubles keeping us from lumber to fixing problems. Best idea. Yeah. Here points out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Guy keeps mutter, uh, keeps peering intently at the figures on the table and muttering about line of sight. Not many people walk around in a cow hat in this day and age, not to imply they were ever in fashion or anything. Ooh, candy. Help yourself. Shelf is stuffed with, uh, full of rule books for the weird game those nerds are playing. Ooh, spittoon, look closer. The liquid in this spittoon is bright yellow. I feel like that's all that needs to be said about it. Look closer. I'll never understand you. Alright, well, you crouch down next to the spittoon. From the nauseatingly sweet stench coming off of it, it appears that these nerds haven't been using it as a makeshift urinal, as you may have suspected. But rather, they're using bright yellow lemon-lime soda-flavored chewing tobacco. Unless, maybe... Well, another possibility is that they have been using it as a urinal, and they're all extremely diabetic, which, now that I think about it, is a real possibility. In fact, it is, it is probable that both of these things are true. Search it. Really, you're just gonna put your hand in the nerd's piss and or spit bucket? Just gonna, just gonna dive right in there, huh? Just gonna splish splash around in that sticky yellow broth, uh, spit and pee with no restraint whatsoever. I sure am. Ah, <sighs> with a fanfare of sad trombones and a choir of angels retching, a sword rises out of the spittoon, held aloft by a wet, bedraggled, and miserable looking woman's arm. Since you're already kneeling, the arm wastes no time tapping you on both shoulders with the sword, splashing your clothes with the yellow slime, and officially declaring you, Jim West, King of Filth. Congratulations, the sword clatters on the floor as the hand drops it with a shudder and withdraws into the splatoon. You got Belch, Blet, Blick, Scalibur, Blit, Blit. Deal stench damage instead of physical, plus six muscle. Alright. Long live the king, baby. Uh, let's equip that shit. Hell yeah! Got any cool hats? Uh, that's right, our silver-plated hat gives us extra e uh, AP. This guy doesn't seem interested in the game. He's just noodling around on his guitar. Talk to him. Uh, no. Nah. Wait, what's up? Not into the game? No, nah, I mean, I like games, but that's why I hang out with these guys. But I've gotten bored of these strategy war games. I want something different. Like what? Well, I was playing the guitar, so I was thinking some kind of guitar game where you pretend you're in a band and you have to hit the right chords. That sounds hard if you don't already know how to play the guitar. Yeah, I thought of making a real simplified version of a guitar, right? But it then wouldn't be much fun for me. I have an idea. Instead of pretending to play in a band, why don't you join an actual band and play guitar for real? I know a place that's looking for talent. Huh? Put my guitar skills to actual use? That's not a bad idea. Okay, cool. It's the Jewel Saloon in Dirtwater. Tell them I sent you. 
Thanks a bunch. I'll head out right now. Godspeed, guitar man. This guy is excitedly and repeatedly describing his favorite kinetoscope reel. Hi, I'm Jim. Howdy, I'm Ernie. Are you the cemetery caretaker? Not me. I'm an emergency telegraph operator. Doesn't that mean you should be li your listening post? It's all right. I have my portable. He takes a telegraph key out of his pocket to show to you. Ask about something else. What's this kinetoscope reel you're talking about? Well, there's two guys dancing while a third guy plays a violin and into a into a huge cone. You can actually hear the violin. It's so great. And then a fourth guy walks in. What does he do? Nothing. That's when it ends. Sounds pretty avant-garde. How's the game going? Pretty good. Pretty good. We're on a winning streak. Uh, if we'd be in charge of the if we'd been in charge of the army when the real war happened, things might have gone differently. Probably the real war was a lot more unbalanced in terms of unit allotments. Mm, good point. Are you the cemetery, cemetery caretaker? This guy's eating chips like they're going out of style. Wait, he's a nerd. Nerds don't care about what's in style. Wow. The digs, man. Talk to him. Hi, I'm Jim. Hey, uh, I'm Jeff. You the cemetery caretaker? Yeah, that's me. Did one of the other guys tell you? I try to keep it hushed because people assume you're a weirdo if you work in a graveyard. I'm actually here to tell you to get back to work because skeletons are wandering out of the place and causing trouble for the neighbors. Ah, uh, nuts. Well, look, I'm on a real winning streak here. I'll, I'll go back once it's over, okay? Need horn swoggling. Uh, let's level that up. Level that up. But, uh, I can't quite get it to four, though. Mom made Rufus stop drinking that brand of soda after he didn't sleep for four days and started yammering about putting our cat in a box to see if it was alive or not. Hi, I'm Jim. Hey, I'm Buddy. So you like this game? It's pretty good. I prefer the science fiction version, though. What's that like? It's really interesting. Has vehicles that move without horses and guns that fire more than once without reloading. Well, that sounds pretty imbalanced. Uh, how'd you get into this? Uh, I was in the actual war. Made it out with only a few scars and a limp, fortunately. On account of I spent the whole thing hiding in a cave. When I heard about reenactments, I signed up to find out what I missed. That's probably not a whole lot like what you missed. Yeah, better snacks for one. All right. This guy keeps peering intently at the figures on the ca on the table, and muttering about line of sight. Talk to him. Hi, I'm Mike. You seem to be taking this game real seriously. Well, of course, you gotta play to win. Otherwise, what's the point? Having fun? Yes. And uh, winning is exactly how to have fun. You having line of sight issues? Well, yeah, they uh, they don't let me have my tape measure on the board when it isn't my turn anymore, so I have to eyeball it. It looks like you could get a hit on that uh, front guy. He'd have partial cover, though. <laughs> I think you mean soft cover. Oh, you're playing fourth edition. Well, yeah, third edition was total clutch. Man, you and my brother would be bitter enemies. Ask about something else. Uh, nope. Don't care. Uh, I guess we talk cow hat guy. Hey, I'm Melvin. What's with the hat? I dare use this voice. Uh, we're doing historical reenactments. You're playing a tabletop war game. Well, okay, sure, but a historical one. Anyway, we only switched to this after we quit doing real reenactments. Why'd you quit? It, too much exercise, and somebody kept refusing to lie down when he got killed. Oh, shit. What was this guy's voice? You missed. What's this game you're playing? Oh, you probably aren't familiar with this type of board game. It's a very specialized form of entertainment. Uh, what I mean is you seem to be using Flintlock 4000 rules, but my brother's set to Nev Cows. Oh, yeah, well, we had to mod them in ourselves. Cool, huh? Can I play? Well, the rules are pretty complex. I don't think the others will want to stop play, uh, to play a teaching game. I, I already know it. My brother used to bug me to play with him all the time so he could test his strategies. Ah, uh, then great. Yeah, we're short a player on the cow side. Step up to the table and grab some dice. Alrighty. Play their little game. The Battle of Cow Ridge. Sure. I am cows. Deal three damage to this revolting human. The revolting human will be utterly destroyed. Heal. Or increase the target's stats. Uh. This enemy deserves no mercy. Alright. Uh. Let's take out this grunt, I guess. Oh, and the, the others just do their thing. 
Oh, this guy fucking heals. that healer out of here. No, my cow! Alright, let's increase my own stats. Twice? Uh, it doesn't help me kill this guy any better. Well, he can't hit me anyway. So get wrecked. How's about that? Alright, let's leave all on my head. Although... This guy won't go back to the cemetery until all of these are beaten, huh? Ugh. Well, we'll play more, uh, Flint... Flintlock? Was it? What's this? What, uh, what's the game you're all playing? Yeah, Flintlock 4000. We'll play more Flintlock 4000 next time with, uh, Mike and the boys. See you then, YouTube. Bye. <laughs>